is still unknown how many of these cars survived. You know, we've gotten better through every catastrophe. We've learned from Katrina to Sandy and now Harvey. This, what we're building now, is all about the experience. This system that we're putting together is the first of its kind. Three of the trailers will be placed in a U-type formation. Combined, we'll make a hospitality area, TVs, air-conditioned food. We'll stay on site through the whole process. We're on the ground days, sometimes weeks before a cat hits, finding the land that we're gonna need to store those cars. As soon as these trailers park. We want to be able to hold meetings and have everything go as smooth and quickly as possible. There really is no lack of technology in any of these trailers. We've done it so that we can respond to these storms faster and we can get all the vehicles picked up for our customers so that they can provide settlement checks to the insurers to help them get back on their feet. Anything that we can do here to make this an easier situation is what we want to do. We've expanded our subhaul network We've added permanent positions to the CAT team. We also added a mobile command center that will house 44 people in operations. We'll be able to dispatch, take member payments, process titles. It's a yard in a box. We're going to wow our customers with everything that we're investing in on our infrastructure. We don't want it to feel like a catastrophe. We want to provide the facilities for them so they can do their jobs. We listen to what they need and we provide that.